What's going on YouTube? Tim Roos here. Now, since uh, we are of course in the month of November, lots of really interesting films to look forward to. So, here are my official top 10 anticipated films coming in November. Alright, number 10 is the Netflix film Emila Perez. Now, this is directed by famed French director Jacques Aldard. I can never pronounce his last name. Um, but he's done um, other stuff like he did uh, The Diving um, Girl on the Butterfly. Uh, he also did uh, Rust and Bone, uh, The Sisters Brother. Uh, so he's done some other cool stuff. Now, this movie is getting tons of Oscar buzz. You know, they're even saying that Zoe Saldana could be a front runner for Best Supporting Actress. Selena Gomez could get an Oscar nomination for this. If you guys don't know much about the story, the fearsome cartel leader Emila enlists Rita, an unappreciated lawyer, stuck in a dead end job um, to help fake her death so that uh, Emila can live authentically um, as her true self. This musical odyssey follows the journey of these three remarkable women in Mexico, each pursuing their own happiness. And the trailer for this list looks terrific. You know, the uh, cinematography looks great, looks intriguing. Looks heartfelt here, too. I mean, and it's also stars of this actress named Carla Sofia Gascon, who I never heard of before, but they're even saying, um, you know, Carla is a front runner for best uh, actress as well. So, uh, you also got Edgar Ramirez. Uh, yeah, Edgar Ramirez is in this. Got some cool cast members, so hopefully it's a good one, but we'll see. All right, number nine is a film that really, like, Warner Brothers is really messed up um, big time, and that's Clint Eastwood's Jury Number Two. Now, I don't even know if I'm going to um, see this this month. I'll try to, but it's I don't even think it's um, going to be get much of a release. Uh, this is, of course, Clint Eastwood's new film, uh, which is about family man Justin Kemp, while serving as a juror in a high-profile murder trial, finds himself struggling with a serious moral dile dilemmas, one he could use to sway uh, the jury verdict and potentially convict or free the accused killer. Now, yeah, Warner Bros. again, like, they, I kid you not, they were actually going to give this thing a streaming release. This thing was just going to go straight to streaming, which, hey, if you guys mess, messed around with uh, Christopher Nolan and stuff like that when um, they screwed up with Tenet, I can't imagine see what they were going to, like, not not going to lie. If if I was Clint Eastwood, I, I'll be surprised if, um, if Clint Eastwood does another film, I'll be surprised if he sticks with uh, Warner Brothers. Like, yeah, because they're really messed up his uh, this release. Like, it's still coming to theaters, yes, but they're not even planning to, like, no wide releases being set, nothing. Like, they're literally burying this film, which is a shame, because Clint Eastwood, like, you never know. This could easily be Clint Eastwood's final film. Like, he, there is still talks that he is planning to do another one, but you never know what happens for now and then. So, it's really messed up that they're just burying this thing, and... Yeah, but hey, Clint Eastwood's still a legend, so if I get a chance to see it, I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably try, but hopefully it'll play in, um, around me, but we'll see. Alright. Uh, also out, oh, my number eight pick is the movie Here. Now, this is directed by Robert Zemeckis, who is pretty much one of my favorite filmmakers. I mean, this is a guy who gave us Back to the Future, uh, Forrest Gump, and this is from the same people who gave us Forrest Gump. So I'm definitely looking forward to see this, you know, of course, uh, you also got Tom Hanks, Robert Wright. You know, Forrest Gump is one of my favorite films um, there is. So seeing a film that pretty much reunites um, the people who gave us Forrest Gump piques my interest big time. So I'm definitely excited for this. You also got Paul Bettany. Uh, Kelly Raleigh's also in this. It's also from the same writer of Forrest Gump. So there's that. So hopefully it's a good one. All right. Now, this is another film type uh, with the uh, word here in the title. Number seven is I Got Herrick. Uh, when two missionaries uh, of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints attempt to convert a man, it um, turns to be far more dangerous than they could have imagined, anticipated. Now, this does star Hugh Grant, who is looks completely creepy in this. It looks intriguing. Uh, of course, it is A24, so there's that. You know, you also have uh, Chloe East, uh, Sophie Datch is also in this. Got some interesting cast members in this. It uh, looks um, interesting, so I'm all for it. 
All right, number six is Red One. Now, so many people are hating the trailers. I mean, it looks it looks dumb, yes, but it looks dumb fun. You know, uh, it's where like Santa Claus is kidnapped, Callum um Drift, the head of North Pole Security, must team up with Jack O'Malley, a bounty hunter, to find and rescue him. And this stars the likes of Dwayne Johnson, Chris Evans, uh, J.K. Simmons. I mean, this movie looks a lot of fun. You know, uh, it. From what I heard, it's supposed to be one of the most expensive Christmas films to date. You know, uh, the effects looks a little weird, but I'm all for it. You know, Dwayne Johnson is always great, so I'm hoping that's good, but we'll see. Alright, number five, I'm going with The Piano Lesson. Now, this is, of course, based on a book by, uh, or a stage, I should say, by um, August R. Uh, Wilson. Set in 1936 Pittsburgh, during the aftermath of the Great Depression, the piano lesson follows the lives of Charles' family in the Doker Ch um, Charles household um, and an heirloom of the family piano, which is decorated with designs carved by an enslaved ancestor. It features the likes of Sam Jackson, John David Washington, is also produced by Denzel Washington, and even um, is directed by Denzel's other son, I think his name is Malcolm Washington, if I'm not mistaken. The trailer for this looks intriguing. You know, looks uh, very. It definitely has a little bit of a fences feel here. Uh, looks definitely has Oscars written over it, so I'm definitely excited for this. You know, they're also saying that uh, this could possibly be the film that could win Sam Jackson his Oscar, which he technically do have an Oscar, but it's more like an honorary Oscar, which not really an Oscar for acting. I don't think he's even been nominated since Pulp Fiction, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong there. He's probably been nominated for something else since, but. I think the last, that's the last time he's ever been nominated for an Oscar, which is insane to believe, but. Alright, number four, I'm going with Gladiator 2. Now, speak of Denzel, by the way. Uh, this is like the, this is like the Muff of the Washingtons, you know, Denzel's in this, he's producing the piano lesson. Hey, more Denzel, more Washingtons is always a given. And the trailer for this does look intriguing. I mean, I'm hoping it's good because the last, well, really, Scott's last films hasn't really been the best. Like, Napoleon 2 was a bust. Uh, I mean, the last do I wasn't too much of a fan of, but had his moments. Uh, House of Gucci was just okay. I think the last time I truly liked the really Scott film was pr not the, actually not The Martian. It was actually uh, On the Money in the World from 2017. That was actually his... Uh, his last bear film, in my opinion. But, I don't know. Hopefully, this is a good one, but we'll see. I mean, it does look intriguing. Uh, some reactions has been teased, so hopefully, it's a good one. All right. Number three, I'm going with... Okay. Number three, I'm going with A Real Pain. Now, this movie stars and is directed by Jesse Eisenberg, and it's where mismatched cousins uh, David, played by Eisenberg, and Benji, played by Koken, Reunite for a tour through Poland to honor their beloved grandmother. And this does look intriguing. You know, uh, they're also saying this could have Oscars running all over it. Karen Koken coming off of his Emmy win for Succession. Could this get him an Oscar nomination? Who knows? It looks heartfelt. Looks intriguing. So I'm, I'm all for it. Hopefully it's a good one. All right, number two, I'm going with Moana 2. Uh, this summer, we have Moana journeys to the far seas of Oceania after receiving an unexpected call from her wayfinding um, ancestors. Now, I coholly enjoyed the first Moana. It was a lot of fun, really charming, love the music. Uh, also, this has Dwayne Johnson in it, too, so there's that. Uh, the music for this sounds intriguing. Like, um, the song, uh, You're Back, I'm definitely, in or We're Back, I'm definitely interested here. My biggest complaint is No Limit Miranda, so that Piques my interest just down a little bit, but I've been enjoying the trails. Uh, love the first Moana, so I'm hoping it's a good one. Uh, and I'm hoping it does better than uh, Disney Animation's last couple of stuff, like Strange World, Wish, but we'll see. Alright. And my number one anticipated film of the month is Wicked. I'm sorry, the trailers for this has looked terrific. You know, I know there's some controversy surrounding uh, Cinta Revo and... Uh, and her being offended by a poster or whatnot. That aside, I'm so excited for this nonetheless. You know, you got Ariana Grande, who I've been a fan of since Victoria's fame. You know, Cynthia Riva is actually a really terrific actress. Like, it, it, of course, she got an Oscar nomination for uh, playing Harriet Tubman in the movie Harriet. 
Uh, she also was terrific in that movie, Widows. Uh, she was also one of the redeeming qualities of that not-so-good Chris Hemsworth film, uh, Bad Time at the El Royale. Uh, and she looks great in this. John M. Chu. Ha who will ever guess that the guy who gave us Justin Bieber documentaries and Jam and the Holograms would be having some better films lately? You know, of course, uh, he did do Crazy Rich Asians, uh, In the Heights, which is one of my favorite musicals, uh, films of recent years. And, of course, this is Wizard of Oz, so anything Wizard of Oz related, I'll be excited for. So, because Wizard of Oz is my favorite film of all time. So, anything, anytime you tell me that there's something Wizard of Oz related coming out, I'll, I'll be giving it no matter what. I'll, I'll be giving it a watch no matter what. Like, I even set you that terrible Leah Michelle animated Wizard of Oz film because it was Oz related. So, anything Oz, um, I'll, I'll just be watching in a heartbeat. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping it's a good one, but... We'll see. I mean, uh, they're saying that this is going to be a really massive hit when it comes out. So, all right. That's pretty much it. Here is my quick rundown. Number 10, Emilio Perez. 9, Jero number 2. 8, Here. 7, Here. Uh, 6, Red 1. 5, The Piano Lesson. 4, Gladiator 2. 3, A Real Pain. 2, Moana 2. And number 1 is Wicked. Now, there's other ones uh, coming out as well. Let me post some other films coming. All right. Uh, now, obviously, there are other Christmas films coming out um, in the month of November. Like, there's a couple of, uh, like, the Lindsay Lohan one, A uh, uh, Little Secret. Uh, okay, kind of lost it. Hold on. Uh, there's Hot Frosty with uh, Lisa Schreier. That's coming out. Uh, there's also the movie Queer, which, um, which could be interesting. Although that's probably going to be more like a wide release in December. That's why it's not really in my list. Alright, what else we got? Alright, Absolution with uh, Liam, uh, well, Liam Neeson could be interesting. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Evelation with uh, Anthony Mackie could be good. The best Christmas pageant ever. That could be interesting. The show looks really cute. Uh, let's see what else we got here. And almost a uh, Christmas story. Um, uh, Bona Fire Fire. How do you pronounce it? Uh, Joy Spellbound. Uh, Out of Mind Blitz. I mean, lots of really um, oh Maria. Lots of interesting stuff to look forward to in the month of November, but. Let me let you guys. What is your anticipated films coming in November? You know, are you excited for, uh, you know, for Wicked? Are you excited for Moana 2, A Real Pain, etc.? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This is Henry Simon.